G'day folks, uh, welcome to a Wednesday afternoon. Um, just been mucking around at the scrapyard and picked up some goodies today. You're going to like what I've got. Unfortunately I can't really fire it up since the magnetron's been well butchered. Uh, but I'll show you in a minute. Just want to do a bit of an update on the EDM. Uh, still not working, we found more problems with it. The hydraulic servo valve or what's actually just a tiny little proportioning valve with a voice coil type arrangement. Sort of like a I suppose a CD-ROM optical pickup, the way that's manipulated, this manipulates a little swinging ball type thing to move a plunger. It's just worn out and we're having trouble with it. Um, the hydraulics guys that we first found said, oh my god, that's the kind of thing you'd use to plot for flight control in a space shuttle, or at least air and or aviation or that sort of thing. So they had nothing. And then we found one place which deals with that sort of stuff, which is sort of super precise hydraulic controls and they said starting price is about three and a half grand and they're not there's no guarantee that that cheap model will even work so you could look be looking at upwards of that so we pretty much canned that idea and we're going to go with servo controlling it maybe just using a ball screw and a, a um, three-phase vfd and little three-phase motor on it only a little tiny little thing uh, braking resistor that sort of stuff to make it start and stop very precisely and give very precise position control and all that sort of thing so it's worth a shot otherwise the units just scrap so we're going to try it with some drives and motors and things we've got floating around the shop uh, it's all delta stuff so it's pretty good uh, likewise if we have to change the control in the cabinet delta plc's are very very adaptable to any pretty much anything uh, we use delta plc's on all of our equipment at work and they are fantastic um, yeah, so that's about all for that one. I'll be working in conjunction with my friend Terry, who is our basically tech expert at work, maintenance expert, automation expert, come everything expert. Uh, he's the guy who got me the RF welder transformers and things, Black Betty, the RF welder transformer. So he's a top bloke, and I'll be working with him closely and teaching him how the EDM works too. Um, he didn't know about, he didn't really know how they worked until. I don't know, a week ago when the thing broke down and I started explaining how it worked. And he's learned very fast, of course, being automation specialist. It's not really rocket science when you break down how an EDM works. So, yeah, I've been over that before. Anyway, let's have a little look at my little present outside. <laughs> Radar equipment. Unfortunately, the magnetron has been uh, removed from that and had the big horseshoe magnet removed from it. Um, it's an exceedingly strong magnet, so a friend pinched that one. Not that I really need a magnetron like that to play with. I'd probably end up getting myself in trouble or hurting myself. So, yeah. And I'm sure there's some law against operating something like this on land. Um, that's the other part I found in the junk pile. I did manage to find it, or my friend managed to find it. Um, but there was more with it. It was a whole autopilot system. So there was a big compass. There was... A couple more control cabinets and things. I don't think I'd ever be able to couple these two together because that must go to something else. That would go to a control cabinet and that would be just the brain or the, the interface, the visual interface. So I can still play with it and do something, get the screen to light up, whatever. And this thing here is supposedly pretty clean inside so I think we'll start with the, um, the scanner head and then we'll move on to the uh, electronic control another day. I just want to have a bit of a look inside it this afternoon but I don't know, it's smoking hot, so we might leave that one till later. It's not a bad unit, it's very heavy. Uh, it's made in the 70s. It's made by Furuno, Japan. That's a variable range marker. Display readout on it. Yeah, some kind of marker. Lots of old school electronics in there. This is from the 70s, so fairly old. I think that's all termination and other connections inside here. Yep. I think that's where I hook it up. The cable's going in. Oh yeah, I see. And that'll be DC filtering and all that sort of stuff. I'd, at a guess I'd say 12 volts. Yeah. Don't know. Scanner switch on off. Oh, okay, so that's power for the scanner. Yeah, I'll have to figure this out. There'll be um, a main DC input somewhere. There's a vacuum tube adjustment and everything. Yeah, this thing's going to have some really cool shit in it. Really cool. It 
giant fuse which is blown. Something was probably horribly wrong with this unit, so God knows what. And yeah, we'll open up that tonight. And I'll post a separate video of that. Uh, not a lot else happening. Just catch up on bills and things. It gets expensive after a while. Uh, especially with the price of fuel and everything going up. The government put LPG up, so there's no point in really keeping the Jag and putting that on LPG. It's just going to get more and more expensive. So, yeah, that's what I get Brad down to do, is get the Jag working properly, and hopefully he'll keep it. I would like to see him do it up. He's got his Mercedes-Benz on the go at the moment, but, yeah. I don't know. I don't have the time or the money now. It's just getting ridiculous. And that's with my um, YouTube and everything. I mean, this sort of stuff pretty much pays for itself. The hobby stuff, the YouTube stuff, uh, input from users and... Google and everything is what keeps this going, but actual living expenses are another completely different animal. So, yeah, that's all there is to it. Anywho, we'll have a good look at this one later. Yeah. Display unit. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm almost out of battery, so we'll look at this one later on. Anywho, thanks for watching. It's got a good motor in that too, apparently. <laughs> it's like a starter motor.